here is the method for riding a bike to use the least amount of energy, retain the best posture, and have full control over two contact points. The amount of uh, friction you can cause in the inverse direction that the bike wants to generally travel makes it stunningly easy, gives your fingers a nice workout, and there's various resting positions that you can put your fingers in. You can hook forward with two to adjust in moments where you need to. Um, it goes up with four fingers if you're using both hands. You can narrow the point of contact and move it around. The two points are really important, but you can sort of err towards alternating where the force is mainly going, and that allows more ability to rest. Um, this is also a great rest position. Um, this is another good rest position. And it's uh, when you have a, a whole fist around the bike, your shoulders come forward, your back arches, and it's quite unnatural. But using four fingers, you can keep it perfectly straight and deviate far less on your path of traverse than you normally would with regular grips. So give that a try. Um, maybe if you're very young, uh, I'd advise you to have at least like push-up capable strength in your hands and arms uh, to properly do this. That's just hazarding a guess and not wanting people to fly off. But other than that, keeping your shoulder as far away from the handle allows your back to remain the most naturally uh, curved. So this will lower, this will also prevent blisters in the hands from gripping and rubbing. So you'll only develop uh, stronger calluses on your fingertips, if at all, because the tension is just not uh, even, it's not, it's not enough of a surface area to blister in my experience. I've been doing this for a few years and I don't ride bikes very much. So I have made like info drops about it before, but not in depth like I'm doing here. So I will show you a, uh, version where I'm riding around. I've just uh, got to think about the best way to make that, um, you know, recordable and you'll see the way that changing instantly to prevent crashes and serious um, navigational issues. Of course, it's easy just to fall forward into a grip, but this will be your default and uh, will give you the most uh, easy to transfer load and um, then it's only like small muscle groups that are doing all the navigational work and because you can rest them like resting your heart between beats um, you'll avoid all of these other issues that build up from riding so try that out and credit me day f